price. Oh, it's not fixed yet. So just deal with that. That is bright. Mm. 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 <laughs> Hmm. Now does this help? Does other light help? No, it doesn't. Just okay. I got an idea. I got an idea. Here we go. Here's the idea. Here's the idea. Ah, oh, here we go. Uh, Big Kirby is no. I made it worse. This is the opener now. If I was just me struggling with this. Welcome friends, Lost Guy here, and it's time for the vlog. And it's gonna be a quick one. I got nothing to talk about. What do I got to talk about? Um right now it's I don't know. I feel like you don't talk about Trump anymore because it's just everyone's talking about him already. You don't need to talk about that. The only politics I talk about, I guess, is Candace Owens. So my question with her is let's talk about racism. My question with her is, will we relate her to Uncle Tom? Like, is she the Uncle Tom of our time? Is my question. Like, I really curious how black Twitter feels. For the most part, Black Twitter just doesn't talk too much about it. They don't like her, from what I've noticed. But there's also some who side with her, so it's weird. But she definitely is... It just feels like she's the Uncle Tom. That's what it feels like to me. She feels white, white supremacy is not a problem for black people. It's not even on the top 100 list. It's on the list. It's on the list. I wouldn't necessarily say it's high. There's other problems. But it's on the freaking list. Are you kidding me? Don't say 100 list. Maybe top 10, maybe. The reason for that is, it depends on where you are. We still have, not white supremacy necessarily, but just racism in general is, of course, a big problem for minorities, of course. That's just how it be. It's very frustrating. But to think white supremacy isn't a problem is kind of weird, because that's just, that is a cluster in areas where, what are you going to do with that? It's just, well, my arm's getting tired holding this Kirby up. Um... <sighs> Because if you separate white supremacy from racism, because obviously uh, when other races are racist towards any minority that aren't white, obviously that's not white supremacy. That's just racism. I think the problem is you link the two because, of course, it is racism. But uh, that's a different kind of thing going on there because that's white saying they're the best. So they, they're racist towards everything, not just black people, I guess. Um, how Word that better. Word that better. Racism is, of course, in white supremacy, but white supremacy isn't in all racism because, of course, a lot of races are just racist to each other. That's the way to put it. There we go. So racism in general is holding plenty of people back, for sure. All the hatred we all circle around, like everyone's getting hit. It's just systemically who gets hurt the worst, and that's the minorities, of course, because they're not the majority. So, of course, it's going to work that way. Um, it's, it's weird. So here's the thing. Minorities, for the most part, really are the bargaining chips of any political group. It's Her argument is that black people have too long been a bargaining thing and, and been used by the Democrats. It, the same thing for Republicans. It's, it's what happens. The political parties are going to use people up. That's what happens. They don't, there's going to be people who want to represent people within them, but at large, they're taking advantage of the ignorance of the masses. And we all know that. When it comes to voting, hey, Rain Stride, when it comes to anything political or voting in general, you take advantage of the ignorance of the masses. And that is a frustrating thing about politics. I really feel like we should have to take a test to vote, but at the same time, that would screw over foreign speaking people and people who just don't have good learning. So I don't really know what's the best way to go about that. I really don't. Maybe I. Uh, Mandatory teaching wouldn't work. I don't think that would work out. I have no idea what could make voting better. I really don't. I try my best to read up as much as I can, and even I can't keep up, because there's a lot of things to read up on. And it's just, it's frustrating. It really is. So I don't, I don't know. Because there's a lot of voting against your own, your own will, your own good, because you don't understand better. Like, I've said this before. There's a lot of poor white people who vote against welfare and all those things. And they're the majority of the people who, who take advantage of it. The thing is, they think it's Mexicans utilizing. They think it's black people utilizing it. But they utilize the majority of it. They're voting against themselves. And they don't realize it. It's so crazy. Because Republicans don't care about poor people. They really don't care about poor white people. 
and yet they vote Republican so much. They vote against themselves so often. It's crazy. It really is crazy. The other problem is just the two-party system. It's really frustrating how much of... Um, how little can be done with two parties, because it's just so much of uh, party lines treated like a sports team. That doesn't work out. It really doesn't. Not like Parliament's better. We see a lot of problems with Parliament as well, because they have to establish majorities and all that crap. I'm actually curious if we just... If we did away with, like, the representatives and all that, and we just directly voted on everything, how would that work is a curious thought I have here. Like, if we actually just had majority rule for these different things, but then it'd still be taking advantage of the ignorance of people. So I don't know. Because at the end of the day, uh, it's too selfish. Politics is way too selfish. It was supposed to be for the good of the people, but it has not been for the good of the people for a long time. And you get why everyone's so defeatist and everything like that. It's very frustrating. I don't know. Politics is frustrating. Politics is really frustrating. And what can you really control? What can you really control with politics? Unless you're even at the top. Even if you're the one making the rules. I don't know. It's so ridiculous. And just how easily the party can get uh, hijacked like it did for the Republicans. And just how agendas can get hijacked. And oof, I don't know. I think I think Trump's got a good chance of winning it. I really do, because the Democrats are cannibalizing each other really bad, just like they did last time. There's so much cannibalism going on there. And the problem is the difference between the two parties. Republicans don't hold each other accountable the same level Democrats do. They really don't. And we've seen that, obviously, with Trump. We see that a lot with Trump. We also saw that back in the day with, like, Sarah Palin and stuff like that. Sarah Palin was the dumbest pick possible. She's a smart pick because she's folksy and it works out for the ignorant. But she's the dumbest pick possible for policy. Dumbest pick policy possible for becoming the p potential president. What was she going to do? Politics are uh, very frustrating. Is the only way to put it. Trump winning is just a huge, a huge just example of how badly ignorant we all are in this country. And how it continues to be. Let me, let me just mention my dad for a moment. So Trump with the EPA is going to... Gonna gonna force California. Well, they're gonna get away, get rid of their waiver, so California can no longer put emission standards on car companies here in California. And my dad thought thought what Trump was trying to do is make it that we have less emissions because of whatever restrictions California's doing. Was like, no, 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 no. What they're doing is California has been restricting the emissions that cars can make in California from the manufacturers, so that we have less emissions in general. And somehow my dad thinks, uh, from tr just because he believes in Trump so much, that what Trump's doing is, by getting rid of those regulations, car companies will be allowed to do what they want, and then emissions will go down. Which makes no sense whatsoever. It's very, very weird how that happens. Smaller example, smaller example. Let's talk about just playing on the ignorance of people. College students. When I was in college at UCSD, there was a... Referendum is not the right word. A, there was a vote. The vote was this. If you vote yes, we have to pay an extra 120 something dollars every quarter to help fund for sports at UCSD. That's what the vote was. Yes or no on that. And over and, and obviously all the athletes in, at UCSD were pushing people to vote. Yes, we're just pushing people to vote. That's what they were trying to do. And there was a lot of just just they were crowding you kind of tactics going on here. And another problem was misinformation because I had more than one friend who voted yes, thinking the idea was it was opt in and only the athletes would have to pay for it. Like only athletes would be paying extra every quarter. Why would we all be voting on that? And they were smart people. They were smart college students and they did not understand the vote whatsoever. And that vote won. And that's another 100-something coming out of my pocket, out of every student's pocket, or their loans, going to athletes in a school that isn't even, like, what? They're Division II. That's it? UCSD's never going to get anything, never going to be bigger than that. UCSD's never going to climb out to be able to NCA level, because UCSD is a scholar. Like, it's a place for graduates, a place for PhDs that doesn't give a crap about sports, and yet there's people who try to make it about sports, which is weird. You should have gone to the sports schools. Very weird. 
And this is a problem. It just... People don't know what the hell they're voting for. People don't know what the hell they're talking about a lot of the time. There's plenty of things I don't know what I'm talking about, I'm sure. But I try not to talk about them if I can help it. I try to read up if I can help it. We talk way too much out of our ass, don't we? I think a lot of us do. All the time. Including me. Including me. I try, I try to curb it over the years as I get older. I try to just... This is why I'm so boring. This is why I'm so boring in real life. I'm boring because I don't BS. I'm boring because I won't just act like I know what the hell I'm talking about. Because that's conversations people just talking and talking, and sometimes people are BSing. And I don't do that. I don't want to make just make crap up. And so I'm kind of boring in, in public conversations, because they'll talk about this or that, and I'm like, ah, yeah. I don't really have an opinion because I don't have enough of a thing to make an opinion. I can like, I can nod along. I can do that, but I can't really form a real opinion here. I think that's it. I ran about politics too much. I don't like it, but it's on my mind on occasion. Uh, big things. Ash Ketchum finally won a Pokemon League. Good for Ash. Orange League doesn't count. Oh, let's talk about things. The new Kirby vlog is out. If you somehow got here after all the political rants, which is amazing. Maybe we should put a skip code at the start. You somehow got past all the politics. Jesus. Um, I'm sure I've got Republican viewers. I'm sure I do. And I don't hate Republicans. I just hate the system, I guess. I don't know. We're, we're, all, we're all trying to vote for what, we, for what we believe in, right? Like, none of us are malicious in our voting. We're just trying to just make something good come out of it that we think is the right way. All those of us are malicious. My uncle owns way too many guns because he's really convinced there's going to be a civil war. And that scares me. That is, that is dumb. That is extremely dumb. There's not going to be a civil war. All of us are way too invested in just being lazy. <laughs> we really are. Sometimes I would just wonder about gun nuts. Are they trying to be the good guy with the gun? Is that what their hope is? Because I really feel like we need better regs. Like... Better regulations doesn't mean take away the guns. This is the this is one of the biggest ignorance things that pisses me off so much. They're not going to take away your guns. They're just going to make it harder for you to get more of them. If you got 20, you're good already. You weren't going to buy a 21st gun, were you? I got a cousin with a bunch of AR-15s. He's got a bunch of them. They're fun to use. They're fun to shoot. They really are. I like shooting guns. Uh, only at the range. I'm never going to use it anywhere else. I'm not going to hunt. I don't like killing things. I really don't like killing things. Not my thing. Not at all. I'm fine. I'm fine eating things because I'm not a vegetarian or a vegan. I don't I'm not going to be the one killing them themselves, which is a cowardly thing to some people. They think you should only eat what you can kill yourself. Budget. I can afford to just buy it. I do wish we could slaughter with dignity, I suppose, which is impossible. At the end of the day, I think once we get the clone meat, <laughs> that might be better. That would really help out with emissions. Dear God, clone meat would help with, with so much stuff, but how would you make clone meat is the question here. How would we get the matter for it? Well, I have ideas on how you could do that, but who's going to really want to do clone meat? Everyone's going to be like, eee. You know, it's just meat. It's just proteins and all that. <sighs> I don't know. Okay, so new Kirby podcast. That's what I was talking about. New Kirby podcast coming out. Uh, well, it came out today. Check it out. It's the Ninja episode. It's a really, really, really good episode. Kirby gets stabbed in the face. No joke. Kirby gets stabbed in the face. Right in the face. Jinx, can you put the picture up? That'd be great. In the face. Oh, by the way, going to be in Vegas for a week, so no vlog next week. Unless we decide to do a late vlog when I get back. So I'm going to be gone for a week. And then on the day I come back from Vegas, I'm going to go to Grave. So hopefully I sleep on the way. Because woo. Woo. That's, uh, that's going to be rough. And then it's going to be four straight days of work. And then, yeah, then I'll be doing graves for a month. I'll be doing graves for October. Uh, luckily, I do not do the grave for fallback. Here's something that sucks. This is something that really, really sucks and should not be a thing. If you, f if you work on daylight savings, and there's a lot of places, not just here, and, and it's grave, if you work during that fallback or or spring forward, that affects your hours. So if you work during fall back, you get an extra hour. Some places don't count that extra hour and you only get eight hours anyway. And some places do count and you get nine hours. 
I don't remember which one it is for my place. Luckily, I'm not working it, so I don't need to care. But if you work during Spring Forward, you only get seven hours, because you were only there for seven hours, because of the Spring Forward. That's annoying, because you want your damn 80 hours. You want your you want every hour. Actually, I'm pretty sure it's it's a fight right now over the yeah it, it's right now it's a fight over whether or not it's nine hours or eight hours, uh, working the grave. It's it's obviously nine hours. You're, chronologically, you're there for nine hours. Like just because it went back, you're still been there for nine hours. You can you were in that space for nine hours, but then the other person only gets seven. So I think the argument is whether we go eight and eight. Or you just do the 9 and 7. Because they're not going to let you go 9 and 8. They're not going to allow that. Even if it's two different people. So that's kind of sucky. So what can you do? What can you do as a happy medium there is 8 and 8, I guess. But it just sucks for that one hour. You're working for free, basically. Take a nap that hour, I guess. <laughs> don't, don't take a nap. You'll get fired. I don't know. I really don't know uh, how that's going to work out. I should double check how they do it. Uh, but I'm pretty sure it's, it was one thing, and they changed it to another, and nobody's ever happy. Because, of course, they're not. Daylight Savings is wonky. I'm fine with us getting rid of Daylight Savings. Like, just pick a time where it just feels like it would be best, where the Spring Forward would fall back, and then we're good there. They did studies. Uh, I remember... The thing about studies is you never know if they're real studies or not, but the study I'm going to cite is I don't know if it's real or not. If they were BSing or not. And that is, the study found that they, they checked the people's heart rhythms and stress levels and everything around daylight savings. And what they found was, when it's fall back, the stress levels went down. Because they got an extra hour, I guess. But when it's spring forward, the stress levels doubled up. Like, Jesus. So, spring forward's bad for everybody, fall back's good, so... Keep falling back? I don't know. For someone who works every shift, I don't even know if daylights matters to me anymore, kind of. It only matters is if the sun's in my eyes when I'm driving home, I guess. That's about it. Um, now I don't really have anything to talk about. Let's just, let's just end the vlog here. Going to Vegas. Hopefully don't lose all my money in Vegas. I hate, I hate how much I suck at Vegas. My family's really good. I'm not. I know how to do it. I know how to do what they do, but I, the cards just darn in my favor. They just, luck hates me. Really do. This does not like me. But there you go. That right there is, oh, right. Side channel. Um, on the side channel, it's just a lot of TFT, if you're a fan of TFT, uh, the League of Legends version of Auto Chess. I like it a lot. I, I'm starting from the bottom, bottom up, so I'm in bronze right now, and bronze is, uh, it's an interesting crap show there. The difference is it's a single player, not a, not a team player game, so it's all on you how well you do there. But you still see some really interesting builds, and people just talking so much trash in, in bronze. I, the ones I put on the side channel are the ones where they're not too aggressive. Because they're just giving me a lot of crap. I'm like, ah, oh, great. It's an interesting thing, Bronze. I'm really curious how we'll go to the other ones. Because Bronze, you see a lot of people trying to do the top comp builds and falling short. That's what you see there. I feel like Bronze, you got to just make your own way. Because people are going to try to make the things they're not going to get. And then they're just going to get blown. And hopefully I get the silver soon. So I'm going to be playing a bunch in Vegas. And we'll see if I blow it horribly. Because of lag or whatever. Because... Uh, Vegas connection is not the best, and you, I will DC. The thing about auto chess, the thing about TFT is because the rounds break up, if I do DC, I can always get back in. Like, I did that when I played Magic Online. When I was playing Magic Arena, i DC on occasion in Vegas, and I'd come back in and maybe I'd miss a turn, but sometimes I'd be able to pull it back and get a win there. Auto chess is going to be kind of the same thing. I keep saying TFT, Teamfight Tech is kind of the same thing as well. I'm also going to work on finishing Super Kirby Clash. Once I've played all of Super Kirby Clash, I'm going to put all of that footage on the side channel. Oh, crap! By the way! By the way! Uh, if you're a fan of Tetris 99 and Kirby, there's the uh, the special Tetris theme board with Kirby on it. You have until the 23rd or 24th to get it. So you want to get on that right now if you want to get that in Tetris 99. And I'm going to have footage of that on side channel as well. I got the second place. I could not beat number one. Number one was just too strong. But uh, I had a lot of fun with that. So expect a lot of things on the side channel. Daily TFTs, because I'm addicted to that. And I see no reason why I would get out of TFT unless I just really, really hated a meta for like a, two weeks. Because the meta changes every two weeks, thankfully. So uh, We'll see. But that's what's going to be on the side channel. Main channel, same R L LPs as always right now. Bunch of games coming out that we won't be able to LP just yet. Astral Chain's out. I'm going to LP that eventually, I hope. 
Uh, Link's Awakening's out. Gonna LP that eventually, I hope. Indivisible's coming out. Not able to LP that right now. Doom's gonna come out soon. And then, bleh, we're gonna do Pokemon, though. We're guaranteed gonna do Pokemon. Pokemon's taking the Chrono Trigger slot. We'll put maybe bonus stuff until that. Unless you can do a short LP until then. There's also the Celeste DLC, which is 100 plus levels. Where am I gonna fit that? We got too many things we gotta do, we wanna do, and we can't do them. And it's because of all these games we want to play, we're not able to work on special projects. That's just it. You can see how much I like to make things. That's why the side channel is getting so many videos right now, because I just like making stuff. But I want to put the LPs on there, because I don't want to put the LPs on there. I want the LPs on the main channel. I'm happy with my voices in Chrono Trigger. I think some of them could be better, but I'm liking some of them as well. And I think that's the vlog. So there you go. That's the vlog. Check out the Kirby podcast. Check out the LPs and everything. And share us, please. <laughs> Helps to get shared. Really do. Oh, that was the thing to talk about. Shoot. Real quick. I don't know if it's going to affect us. It might, but it might not. Is the YouTube, how they're how they're going to do kid content now? They're, they can't collect data on kid content. They're not going to be able to do certain types of... Uh, Certain types of promotion on there, certain types of advertising. So a lot of the kid channels are going to get hit really hard. And the question is, how much is, is gaming going to be affected? A lot of people think Minecraft will at least be picked as a kid-only thing. Which will affect a lot of money for people who do Minecraft channels. But we'll see. We'll see. There's also... Oh god, there's also France who's voting on whether or not uh, you can resell digital games in France. Which, you know, Steam obviously has something to say about that, and if that will spread out to other countries. And that is ridiculous. Reselling digital? That's so freaking weird, and that just kills a lot. A lot of indie devs are like, if that happens, we're out. We're done. And I understand. I really do, because they barely make money as it is. Now that's the vlog. Thanks for coming by, and see you next time. (laughs) 